Ladies and gentlemen, individuals such as I begins to sit with an individual such as him. Yo, once again, this is Trey, and this is him. Now today, friends, we'll have a chance to speak upon topics and we'll get a chance to talk with one another. You know, with the surge spike in the coronavirus, that's a happening itself, but we won't get a chance to talk about that because it doesn't have anything to do with now. Now, what I do want to ask you today, young man, how are you? And how do you feel about moving forward with your endeavor at this particular place and time? Peace. I'm doing pretty well. Uh, moving forward with my endeavors. Uh, yeah, man, just one foot at a time. Just keep moving, whether it's slow or fast, that's at a steady rate. There's an old saying, I'll say slow is smooth, smooth is fast. So for me, it's uh, establishing a proper foundation, whether that's living, uh, financial, the proper roof on my head, the right environment, people I'm around, et cetera, so I can get my head and my thoughts together so I can move with a clean precision and focus that's necessary to deliver the, the quality products and quality life that I'm striving for. Thank you, G. Right, and when you mention quality products, sometimes people believe that the product should be of quality. Now with that belief, it has to be a beginning stage that people would enjoy, or some people wouldn't, which is preparation. So in order to prepare for a quality product, to surface, there has to be time where it's prepared. I see that you are preparing for the quality time which you are awaiting, which is progression. And you mentioned some positive things as far as what it is that you are working toward. Me on my end, I would like to particu particularly place myself in a position where I am striving to achieve a similar endeavor. Sometimes I look outside and I notice that it has gotten dark earlier, whereas the days and months prior to this, it hadn't gotten dark at that particular time. Within production and creative strides, how do you feel the change in time may have affected your workflow or if an effect, could you speak on that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This definitely everything, the seasons, the, the days, all that is, is affects a lot of us. You know, we heard of things like seasonal depression or seasonal joy, you know. So in this season right now, it's winter. It's the darkest night of the year, you know, December 21st or solstice. So nature, you know, I try not to veer too far from nature. So we see in nature, the bear goes in hibernation. You know, the the work that we put in during summer, spring, that's supposed to pay off for right now, whether it's collecting food. And things haven't really changed. Yeah, we're using dollar bills now. We got technology, but the, our body and our, our mechanism is still the same. So for me, at this point, it's kind of taking it easy, resting, because now that we've had the coldest day of the year on the 21st of December, now it's working every single day. We're getting more light more light so right now it's just uh taking it easy and uh slow you know going at a pace not trying to overexert myself at this point in time thank you young man as far as mentioning that i believe that i could particularly benefit from hearing that because with the addition of what you're saying there's the aspect of thought being provoked on my end so when you mention of taking it simple uh, after the winter solstice, the 21st, as you said, I could particularly relate to what you're saying because, yeah, once it has gotten cold or too cold, I wouldn't want to be just out there lollygagging. <laughs> now, right. mentioning of the creative strides, the creative strides that I feel as though creators are looking to take are within the same realm of what we are mentioning of. So mm -hmm. I feel as though with the beginning of our happenings, 
there's also a time where we will reach an, um, a space of commencement. But speaking on the happenings of trying to have creative strides and creative strides being of mention, do you think there's ever a time where the occurrence of said commencement will actually come into reality for the creative and their stride? Uh, I think I got the question for pretty well, but uh, yeah, man, I, mean, I think it's just, it's gonna take time. My thing is, well, we can have goals, end game solutions and, and visions and stuff like that and to work towards it. Uh, but who really knows, you know? And and, and to be honest, uh, I try not to think too much, to put too much weight on on my worth or or my 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 life essentially on, on achieving set goals. You know, I have set, certain goals and I take it seriously, but at the same time, kind of free myself of the attachment of that. Uh, resolution or of that success, you know, at the same time, just being kind of free from that, but also kind of, you know, just playing the game, but not being entangled in the game at the same time, you know, and just to add on to that, to that last question, I, one thing I wanted to mention about the season is uh, like in Chinese medicine, we talk about the, the yin and the yang. And so the yin is like the moon, the yang is sun or yin being woman, yang being man. So right now we're this, we call it supreme yin. So it's the most yin of the season. And so yin is usually, it's, it's helping us go internal, inside. That's hibernation and sleep. So we're going inside. So a lot of times when it comes to creative endeavors such as music, uh, or we're in that season where it's, it's a lot of internal uh, emotions, you know, all the stuff that's been kind of in, inside of us that needs to get dealt with or, or acknowledged. And, um, you know, so it's a good time to just reflect, go within it. And it's also with a new year. So people like to reflect on that. And then summertime is a little bit more brazen. You're more, you're out, outgoing and expressive and stuff like that. So just wanted to add that two piece on there. The summertime happens to be the time where <clears throat> the summertime. Hang on. <laughs> we live right here, y'all. Me and my good buddy named MG for now. You know what I'm saying? As far as people that know us, man, we right here with this man right now, you know. The man just said as far as creatives and their stride, the things can be taken in particularity. And we ask him as far as the occurrences, you know. When, when is there a time when this will commence, you know? Sometimes people speak on being a crazed musician or they speak on being a person who has OCD and all that for real. But we're not gonna we're not gonna put that into the perspective of what we're saying now. Right now I'm just saying we live right here, coming from the location with the man MG, as far as what we're saying, you know what I'm saying? So as far as what y'all people know us as, you know, you might not know us as anything. But with this occurrence here, my peer was blessed enough to to come and say hello to me for real. I was blessed to receive the the gathering of oneself, you know, al alongside an individual. And I felt grateful to come together and really get a chance to talk with my man for real, you know what I'm saying? To talk with another one of one of the people that, you know what I'm saying, we see in a how regard you know has held in a high regard not only from my my individuality but held in a regard specifically you know so with the winter soldiers you know what i'm saying we, we try to put something together but we're not looking to marginalize what it is that we're looking to achieve because that that's not that's not what's being said nor is it what to do speaking of things happening as far as time to being brazen in the summertime, I can relate to that because I know that the summertime is when heat is happening. So a brazen individual, using the word brazen as an adjective, may have been a, an individual who was uh, affected by the heat for real. So yes, we're saying that in the summertime, landscapes are generally more brazen as opposed to during the winter when there's a more chiller, colder air 
surfaces. And surfaces. Shit is hella desolate, man. <laughs> right, desolate. You know, it's, it's empty oh, for real during the summer. Yeah, yeah. And summer happens to be a uh, season that I enjoy, whereas the winter, you know, we're looking to give winter the appreciation it deserves because of its effect alongside the other three seasons. I would like to ask you um, a simple question that involves the Washington football team. Right now, the Washington football team is in its preliminary stages as far as its uh, reputability, as far as getting its uh, team together, as far as it being the damn new Redskins. I want to know, what do you see for the Washington football team that you can see for it? Because I know that it used to be called the Redskins. Now, what do you think's going on with this whole WFT thing about it being the Washington football team? Because I saw a couple games, and it looked like they had a few new players. You know, it looked like they had more big of a lineup or something about them being a football team. But as current as, you know what I'm saying, the next the past few days, I think that dude, um, that dude Smith is out now, you know what I'm saying? That dude Smith is injured once again, and the other man, Haskins, is gone now. You know, he's just been, uh, he's just been terminated from his uh, professionalism as far as him being a part of the NFL. What are your thoughts as far as uh, the Washington football team and its current placement? Shit, that's that's crazy. I didn't even know Haskins got cut. Um, man, to the I've been away from the from the Redskins or the Washington football team for the last like five six years almost. I mean, I was I watched so many Redskins games. I've always been a fan throughout my whole life up until uh, about 2013 14, right after RG three got cut and uh, Jay Gruden took over and put in Kirk Cousins. That's when all that stuff happened. I, I couldn't, I said, I'm not gonna waste my time with this bum ass team. You know, when they, they all the nepotism and stuff that's going on in there, uh, Dan Snyder and all these, you know, it's just, I, I could tell it was just boring and the, and the coach lacked any type of enthusiasm. Anyways, but that's the past. Jay Gruden got cut and they got in a new uh, head coach who, who coached the Panthers, uh, I think Don Riviera or something like that. But, you know, they're in a the rebuilding phase, so. Uh, they've already had some good second uh, second half comebacks and stuff like that. So, you know, they're, they're growing. Right now, it's hard to recognize too many people on the team. You know, I've, I've been away from it. I actually even started watching the Ravens more when I found out RG went to the Ravens and checked with them. So I've been even watching more of their games than the, uh, than the Redskins. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the Washington football team. But uh, in regards to the name, man, I mean, everything is, is subject to change. And uh, I can respect that because the way I look at it, you know, some people will say, OK, this, you know, this uh, these groups of Native Americans, they don't mind the name. And then there's another group that's offended by it. And the way I look at it is, OK, let's just do the knowledge. All we have to do is look at the history of the name. How was it used? And uh, and then if that is a, a derogatory term to to people, and these people have already been shitted on, spit on, and genocided, and anything you could imagine terrible happened to them, and continues to happen today. And that's just, it could be kind of seen as a, uh, some might see it as a respectful thing, and some might not, you know? So it's, it's, it's tough to parlay that. Uh, but apparently enough people did not rock with the name, so. Mm -hmm. You know, so my thing is, if I'm in a if I'm in a room and there's ten Native Americans in there, four of them mm -hmm. out of the ten says, "Yo, no, that's disrespectful. That's that's the name they will call my ancestors before they try to go kill them or scalp them or whatever." Then, uh, you know, that's why I said, would 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 people like a, a team was called the Washington Crackers? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like, how would they? How would yeah. they feel if, if if something like that was being said to? themselves, you know, just as they come and try to say something, you know? Exactly. Or the, or the, or the uh, you know, the Orlando Chinks. You know what I'm saying? Like, people would not would stand for that. But since they are the lowest, they are seen as the lowest tier in our society in North America. You know, not in terms of poverty, uh, health, everything. Suicide rates are the highest in the Native American community. It's terrible. And they're still getting shitted on today. 
still getting uh you know the walls taken over through the through hollow grounds and ancestral burial grounds and stuff like that so it's a shame uh natives deserve reparations african americans deserve reparations in this country that's that's another topic but i think it's in line you know because yeah. there's a lot of blood in this in this country and uh you know for the for the one percent or the one percent to be able to handle everything and uh you know essentially people eat off of the people that work you know so there needs to be some uh equality coming around and the wealth gap is continuing to separate you know so uh things need to change and that's that's a longer conversation there but that's that's partially the history shows us how where we at today Thank you, young man. That was that was well spoken of you. I appreciate that. Right, and I believe that um, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and speak on the next portion. Uh, there's currently been a, a petition or maybe a action of. I believe people are looking to begin to identify blacks as a new acronym known as I D C O P. Now, I've only really seen this on social media, but as far as the acronym states, I believe it is an acronym for a term known as indigenous people of color. Now, that is considerable right now in America. Me being black, you know, like, I don't, I don't care because it's me being black. Me being black, I don't care if they're considering to term African Americans as something else, right? But for people of color, such as myself, I'm not sure how people feel about the whole new acronym about the indigenous people of color and all that. That may be contrary to the Native Americans, but this whole new thing about the new term and acronym is uh, questionable to me in a sense. Now, speaking of the Washington football team, the Washington football team may be better off known as the Washington football team than the Redskins. The Redskins are what we know this team as. It is very difficult for us to potentially get into understanding what the Washington football team is, especially with new players. I've noticed a, a, a sort of pattern in, in the NFL and all sports initially where there are young people in these uh, sports positions, you know, there are young people that are now the new rookies, you know, there's the new people playing the sports. And just as you mentioned, you, you say you like the Ravens ever since <laughs> Call the step for real. You know, I can relate. I like the Ravens right now, you know, as far as defense, it's the Ravens for real. And I, uh, when my other team that I like when I was just like the Cowboys is the Steelers for real. So mm. I root I root for a, a three of them. For I root for the Dallas Cowboys, the Pittsburgh Steelers, and the Baltimore Ravens. And anybody that wants to ask me why I like the Ravens, it's because the Ravens right now are defense. Like mm. the damn Ravens is hitting right now. So yeah, yeah. You know, that's my little thought on the football. But um, we're going to keep this moving, you know, in a quicker direction right now. People, I um, appreciate people that are interested in um, progressing, you know what I'm saying? So me, being creative myself, I happen to come into a space where another one of my respective peers was 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 um, present at the moment. So i like to say thank you all for um, keeping up with what we are doing as creatives and I also wanted to send a, a positive message out there to the other individuals that are, you know what I'm saying, participating in a similar respective. So my peer is my peer and he, 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 he's sick for real, you know what I'm saying? And that's one of the things that I'm trying to do right now. I'm only trying to build with reputable individuals, you know what I'm saying? No offense to anyone. But in the place that I am in, I think it would be best for reputable individuals to be present when it's time to be alongside within multi multiplicity, you know what I'm saying? Multiplicity for, mm. for y'all out there for real. So I'm gonna uh I'm gonna ask you one more I'm gonna ask you 
to, to give your piece on a, a couple more jumps for real. Like, uh, you know, I've I, I seen that you was a, um, I seen that you was an ill producer for real. You know what I'm saying? I seen that you kind of had a hand in your uh, production as far as crafting sound of coming from the place of a young man, you know what I'm saying, who who um, respected the sound that he had heard, you know, when coming by, you know, just being in places where, you know, say we participated in an outing or something or, oh, like, oh, what's that? Like, you're working on, you know what I'm saying? That sounds ill, like, that's illy for real. Like, uh, jokes like that, I'm thinking, like, that's the type of stuff that's making heads really get moving for real. What, what are your thoughts towards um, the, the type of um, cadence that a producer should display alongside wanting to integrate with another's artistry more so what type of cadence or what type of um presence should um, a producer or a, a beatsmith really incorporate into the integration between themselves and uh, a lyricist word man uh I think it, well, first and foremost, man, I want to say I appreciate you too, bro. Coming out here and seeing your production skills can see the uh, increase. It's, it's, it blows my mind. You know, it's like, wow, you know, this should, that's why I'm always trying to get your beats on USB, and, you know, like juice those and get those scrolls in it. But, uh, yeah, generally speaking, it, it really depends. You know, uh, I've been in San Diego for the last six, seven years, and even before that here, you know, a lot of different collaborations with different people. Uh, it depends on the person's uh, mindset, you know. Uh, sometimes you can just give beats to people and then uh, let them choose. And you don't even have to be there, you know. Or you can kind of paint a, paint a little bit, bit of a picture and leave, leave some space for them. Uh, other times, you know, it's, it's good just to get to know the individual. So if, if you spend time with them and you kind of see what they're about, uh, their personality, uh, how they how they pronunciate, how, how they move. Then uh, I think that's that'll help for me to gather information on what I want to do. You know, because let's say there's there's an MC that he he only gets on uh, a certain type of beat, right? A certain uh, energy behind it. Right. I might just try to do something that's uh, if if I feel like that's you know, like, not necessarily, I feel, you know, I might say I want to steer that ship a little bit to the right. So I'll try to maybe pull somebody into a pocket that I, I really, I listen to people's vocals, their tone or their, their voice, and then see uh, where that, where the sonic landscape can fit them in best, you know, which, which is going to be the most entertaining or, or it's just going to sound pleasing. You know, so if like somebody has a, a high pitched voice, you know, I might not put them on a track where there's a lot of other high frequencies. I might put something where there's, there's a space for them to breathe. Uh, or somebody that's overexcited, I might try to put them in something that's going to chill them out. Just to, you know, because I, I try to, art art is a thing where I, I don't like when people, myself or other people get pigeonholed, you know, into doing a specific thing over and over. So I try to, uh, evolve myself and, and help be a catalyst for others to evolve themselves and, and do something new and grow. Ultimately, and you said you don't like to be pigeonholed. That happened to be particularly maybe one of the first times I heard something like that before. But just coming from uh, context, being pigeonholed in a sense, I believe that. Uh, is similar to that whole theory of being uh, limited, kind of, you know, mm -hmm. as far as how you stated it. Yeah. I think an MC that's producer right now could potentially have a more sonic game as far as what they're doing. A producer that's MC right now may produce within the the aspect of what they what they've heard before and what they they want to do for real like uh i like a lot of dudes that mc for real like i love mc and i also like lyricists 
who identify as what is known as an artist. A lot of artists are identifiable in the sense of what they bring to the table, whereas an MC and an MC, an MC is usually identified based on their um, through throughput when they were participating in the MC. Now the two co coincide as far as artistry and um, being a lyricist, you know. So I think when you uh, mentioned as far as what you listen for in the lyricist, then the um, the crafting of your sound or the sound that you're looking to integrate with that artist happens to form form based on that. And I think that's uh, that's a very commendable approach to forming sound and having the aspiration of integrating with a lyricist, whether they be an MC or an artist or whatever it is that they are. I think that is a commendable approach towards the, the integration between you and the lyricist. Me as a lyricist, I, I, like, I like when I can get going with my raps, you know, that's the, the forefront of my, my artistry. My, the forefront, at the forefront of my artistry is the, um, the, the, the output as far as the, the lyrical display. That is, that is my artistry, you know what I'm saying? As far as, as far as the UNA, you know, as far as Young Yuna, as far as spitting, you know what I'm saying? And then, um, as far as being a lyricist, I keep these names in mind, you know, I keep these different avenues and different head spaces, you know, towards creativity. I keep them in mind when I'm going about put, put, trying to put some work together, you know. Um, as a producer, I feel as though it is positive to be mindful of the head space that you're in when looking to integrate that certain cadence with the, the, um, the presence of yourself and the lyricists. Very often as a producer are we without the presence of the lyricist, yet we are also very, um, um, very, very within the, 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 the range of having that certain cadence that we're looking to display um, available. We're within the range of having the particular cadence that we're looking to display when integrating with an artist having that available because I feel like that's someone I end at all times, that whole thing to wanting to get the, the sound polished or to have that certain cadence because it's like, you know, when you're dealing with an artist that you're looking to work with and you're looking to move forward with, as a producer, I feel as though that is that is the the thing that we may potentially want to have going for. Now, not all the times does that work? Sometimes that, that happens to be a negative thing because sometimes when you get the, the flush product, you get your final product that you want to, you know, display cadence and all that for real, that happening may um, tear the sound down. You know, you might tear your sound up for real trying to get something so fixed up for that damn artist you want to work with and all that. So uh, I, I can relate to what you're saying. And I feel as though I would like to add on like uh, the whole natural occurrence of sound and placement is ultimately something that outweighs a uh, predetermined aspiration towards your formation of sound. Um, I just wanted to say thank you all, you know what I'm saying, for giving us the chance to really speak to you all today. Um, you should definitely be looking forward for more occurrences such as this, you know, just as something like this had happened. You're looking forward for something else, you know what I'm saying, that might be something good too for you. I just wanted to thank my peer for coming by today and we wanna we wanna wish you all a, a decent time for real, you know, because within the within the aspect of, you know, terrible happenings, you know what I'm saying, straight up, within the aspect of terrible happenings for real, coming from the likes of two individuals who happen to be in a, a positive place at this occurrence, from the likes of I, I would like to say, say to you all, um, just, just 
just remain steadfast, you know, remain mm -hmm. steadfast in the regards of progressing, really, you know, if, if there's, if there's anything that I can say to you all today, I would like for you all to remain steadfast within the, the, uh, the aspect of progressing, you know, let's, let's get out of this time for real, you know, and not to speak for everyone's behalf, but if there is a time when, you know what I'm saying, supposedly, the um the whole world is is doing uh pretty poorly you know what i'm saying within this um this very blessed moment of me and my peer being able to share um the space amongst one another and and get a chance to just like uh be with living within decency you know from the likes of myself what i would like to say to you all is please remain steadfast within the aspect of your progression, you know, and progressiveness only occurs within a forward motion. So let's remain steadfast within the progression and the likes of us moving forward. And I'd like to thank you all for giving us the chance to really talk with you all today. Now for the likes of I, the last thing that I would state is I would like for people to stay, uh, stay, remain steadfast within the, the likes of their progression. Um, Word. Yes, sir. That's peace. Yeah, definitely. The same kind of thing. Keep keep our eyes open and stay vigilant. You know, uh, people say certain things, whether it's it's uh, somebody on the street or a government official. You know, take uh, just take notice and uh, don't be quick to jump. You know, just just make sure you do the knowledge before you do the wisdom. You know, and it's also in these times of COVID. Uh, it's so important to get your sunlight uh, fast from too much processed foods and just fast in general. You know, if you do a 72 hour fast, you completely regenerate the body. So just make sure you, when you do that, you're not eating food, but you're drinking water uh, with electrolytes. So you can add in salt, some sea moss, you know, you can have herbal teas and stuff like that to make sure you're hydrated and not to drink water too much when you're bored. Uh, to stay healthy. Uh, also take, for herbal medicine, you know, uh, right now I work at a herbal pharmacy for the last seven years. So we've been treating over 70 different COVID patients so far. So if you or someone you know is in the hospital or they're at home dealing with this, sometimes the hospitals is too crowded or they're recovering, you know, dealing with body aches, can't sense the smell, then you could contact me at Dojo West. D-O-J-O-W-E-S-T on Instagram and we can get you a herbal formula shipped out and that's it's, that's the remedy right there you know before we, we jump to uh, any experimental things let's just stick to the, there's a reason why herbs roots nature's technologies are so effective it's because we've been using them for eons for millions of years and our body is uh, accepts it when we add in synthetics, sometimes, you know, you take a vitamin D pill, sometimes it doesn't even do anything, you know, because our body doesn't necessarily absorb it well. So, yeah, just staying healthy and keeping that inner love in your heart and meditating good, uh, being gentle, showing forgiveness, and, uh, you know, doing the, hanging around, uh, doing the knowledge, reading books like the I Ching, uh, the Four Agreements, Don Miguel Ruiz, Thich Nhat Hanh, you know, these, these wise individuals can help us bring forth to uh, a place of inner peace, love, and happiness, which is essential for, for us to be in that place, then we can really make the difference and uh, have, you know, happier environment, town, city, state, country, world, universe, peace. This is, um, he had mentioned if you all are interested in receiving herbal assistance as far as creating remedies or any type of um, question that you may have to um, speak with the true herbalist and, and um, a more more knowledgeable individual in that regard, you can reach out to him on his Instagram. And his intro is Instagram is Dojo West. And that's D-O-J-O-W-E-S-T. And from there, you all can particularly state your state your claims there. You know, if you got a question, you know, for the young man, you know, that was uh, uh, presented in this in this occurrence here, then you could find him at that 
Instagram. And uh, right, I just want to say thank you to the young man, you know what I'm saying, for giving this, giving this piece, you know, for, for him to say his piece today was a tremendous blessing for my end. And I want to want to thank him for that. And I want to want to extend that 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 thing to y'all, you know, about wanting to remain steadfast. Because right now it's 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 we all want to do it, you know. It's me and some other people for real that want to get going, kind of, and move forward. And I believe that it it would be positive for those um, aspiring individuals who would like something good to forthcome from this time of um, very dismal time that we're in, you know, I feel like the advice coming from the likes of I to the other respective individuals who would like to do the same is to remain steadfast within the aspect of your progression. And I just want to say peace to my young man right here. And, you know, saying y'all, y'all stay blessed with. Peace.